Welcome back to part two of Multiplying with Scientific Notation. Our job today is to multiply each expression and give our answers in scientific notation. If you watched our part one video, you noticed that our answers, our final solutions, the first number fell in between the one and 10 threshold. It was greater than one and less than 10. These problems in part two are gonna be a little bit different. So let's challenge ourselves to learn something new. And so off we go with example number one. So remember we started off when we're multiplying our scientific notation, where I did something that's called the bow tie method, where I take the first term in each of the expressions, and I multiply those together, and then I take the exponents, and then I multiply those two together by using the product rule. So here we go with the first one. We have 8.44 times 8.99 multiplied by 10 to the 10th power times 10 to the eighth power. Remember we talked about that anytime that we have two parentheses side by side together, we are multiplying these two together. So 8.44 times 8.99 gives us 75.8756 times 10 to the 10th power and 10 multiplied by 10 to the eighth power. Remember with the product rule, we're going to add those exponents. So we'll have 10 to the 18th power. Now in looking at our final answer, does it fall in between less than 10 and greater than one? And the answer is no. So we are going to move this decimal point over to the left one to make the number smaller. And so that is dividing by 10. So when we divide by 10, the opposite of dividing by 10 is multiplying by 10. So we get to add one space, one more exponent. So this is going to be 10 to the 19th power. So when we make the number smaller, the exponent grows. So if I moved over two spaces, I would increase my exponent by two. In this case, we have our final answer of 7.5875. Five, six times 10 to the 19th power. Our next problem, let's try that again. Get some practice on that. Here we go. Let's bring this down here. Our next example, we have 7.71 times 10 to the 8th times 6.95 times 10 to the 5th. So here we go with 7.71 times 6.95 times, with our exponents, it's 10 to the 8th power multiplied by 10 to the 5th power. When we go ahead and multiply these two terms together, we have 7.71 times 6.95 gives us 53 point five eight four five and 10 to the eighth power times 10 to the fifth power is 10 to the 13th power now we notice that it's 53 so that's greater than 10 so i have to make divide it by 10 to make it smaller by one so if i make the number smaller i need to make my exponent larger so my final answer would be 5.35845, and I have to keep all of these digits together to keep its accuracy, times 10 to the 14th power. Pretty easy, huh? Well, I would also encourage you, if you don't want to multiply on paper, you could use a calculator to multiply these two decimals together. Here we go. Example number three. You guys are getting very good at this, I can tell. I'm sending positive vibes your way. Here we go. 7.5 times 
4.9. Being very organized is super important. And so here we go with 10 to the 10th power times 10 to the 7th power. There we go. So 7.5 times 4.9 is 36.75 times 10 to the 17th power. I Once again, I move my decimal over because 36 is greater than 10. Now 3.675 is definitely falls in between greater than 1, less than 10 times. And when I move it over once to make it smaller, I make my exponent larger by 1. And that's 10 to the 18th power. All right? Our final example. Our final example is going to be 8.6 times 10 to the 9th times 5.6 times 10 to the 3rd. So we have 8.6 times 5.6, we get our two terms right here. And then we're gonna multiply our exponents, which is 10 to the ninth power times 10 to the third power. So 8.6 times 5.6 is 48.16 times 10 to the product rule, 12th power. So I'm going to go ahead and make my number smaller because 48 is way too big. But 4.816 is just right the right size. When I make it smaller, I make my exponent larger. So it's going to be 10 to the 13th power. Mm -hmm.